Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here checking into your person's energy. What's What are they really feeling about you? What are they thinking about you? Um, their feelings are eating them alive, okay? Um, they may feel like they don't deserve you. You know, they may feel very unworthy, okay? Questioning themselves. So this is somebody who's... Um, they don't have a lot, a lot of self-esteem right now, okay? Um, I wish I could be fully honest with you. I can't stop thinking about you, okay? So maybe there's some things, too, that this person doesn't want to tell you. Um, things maybe that they've been doing in, in separation, okay? Or it could be them just afraid to come towards you um, with how they feel about you because they know they're not worthy after what they've done, you know, um, anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you guys right back. I hope you know that. Thank you so much. Yeah, look, this person wants a new beginning. You could have been dealing with a, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, maybe Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like they're looking back at a time when they were happy they're thinking back. They can't stop thinking about the moment they walked away and turned their back on you. That's what they can't stop thinking about. Okay, they're stuck in their head about this. Okay. Um, I'm getting the sense that, you know, they're upside down in this. I, maybe at one point this person um, was very arrogant. Maybe they had a big ego. I feel like they cut you out cold. They had this opportunity at one point because, see, they're looking back at that, right? They're looking back at this opportunity that they had with you. Um, it was a golden opportunity, you know, that I feel like they could have had it all. You were a true soulmate that they turned their back on. Um, and now they're, now if this person had any kind of ego, if they thought they were better than you, if they cut you out cold, um, and were, they were very harsh with you. Okay. Um, now they're second guessing themselves. Like now they're thinking they're, they're not worthy of you. I feel like everything has been like the tables have been turned here clearly and you may be somebody of high value all right uh, because they had the golden ticket they had the golden opportunity at one point and they blew it they blew it i feel like this person once thought that they were better than you okay maybe they were um focused on materialistic things okay maybe they they misjudged you because of what you did or how much money you had or how flashy you are you know i'm feeling like my collective out here we've been pretty humble you know we're not real flashy you know what i mean um and this person now they're they're thinking they're not good enough for you i'm telling you they're wishing they would have made a different decision. They were sitting in toxic energy at the time. And it's, it's also not how they thought of you, but how they cut you out cold. Okay, it's how they ended it too that's bothering this person because they made it really hard for themselves to come back in and get a second chance. I, I feel like they could have said some nasty, nasty things. They could have come right out and said, you know what, I'm, I'm too good for you, so I don't want you. I mean, I feel like this person was rude. Um, they were harsh, and they were very cold, and their words cut, cut like through the bone, okay? So, yeah, um, they made it very difficult for themselves to get another chance, and now this person's in a lot of regret you know, um, wanting, wanting to, wishing they could have done it all differently. If they had another chance to turn back the hands of time and do it all over again, I'm telling you, they, number one, they would have never turned their back on you in the first place. And number two, they wouldn't have been so harsh and rude and insulting. Okay. They wouldn't have ghosted you. Yeah. Look, you could have even been committed to this person in the past. And they're realizing just how wrong they treated you, just how much they betrayed you. See, they underestimated you here. 
You know, this person, they thought that you were worthless. They possibly even wanted to make you feel that way about yourself. They could have told other people about you, you know, bad-mouthed you, that kind of thing behind your back, because I'm seeing other people just watching you, you know. Um, yeah, they were. it's almost like I can hear them agreeing with this person. Yeah, the collective, they're always going to be in peasant clothing. They're always going to have an empty basket. Collective, you know, this person could have done this to you, taken full advantage of you in a time of vulnerability in your life, you know, and then they cut you out because they thought that you weren't, wouldn't accomplish anything. They thought that uh, they just didn't know your value and they didn't know what you were capable of. I feel like you were working on something too, maybe building up a creative project or just working really hard trying to get ahead or something you know what i mean maybe they thought that you didn't have a fancy enough job you could have had a dirty job this is somebody who um does isn't afraid to get her hands dirty and put in that work but is patient enough to wait to reap that harvest okay um I feel like you, you sowed nothing but good seeds in the past, too. Um, there was something very, like, I feel like you didn't ask people for help. You didn't, um, you didn't walk over the backs of everybody else to try to get into a success. Like, you handled things with a lot of hard work. You, you were dedicated to hard work and um, wanting to do the right thing, you know, build whatever this is in the right way and you did and this person just they they betrayed you they thought they were better than you um and they stuck a sword in your back and now they're in regret okay you could have been dealing with a virgo you could have been dealing with a uh, taurus virgo capricorn libra gemini aquarius maybe cancer pisces scorpio and now i feel like this person sees the error of their ways okay um, they've gone within. This is somebody who's taking a look at themselves. They may be in isolation right now as well. This is a masculine too. There's a masculine here who may be having some kind of legal issue. Maybe they have to um, pay a big fine for something or this could be like a big ticket or this could be like, um, it could even be something like bail money. And now they're not in a very good financial way. They're unstable. Okay, they've got no stability. Um, this was, though, somebody who was very superficial and materialistic. Okay, and egotistical. Yep, now they're seeing you as the blessing. Yep, that's the truth. They see the truth about you now. Um, but... Um, now the tables have turned on this person, okay? But they are definitely, they've gone within. They've taken a good look at this. They realize that you were a blessing, all right? They may be watching you too. Um, you could be in the public eye having some kind of victory, or perhaps they're seeing someone else come into your life. Okay, so you could have somebody new coming forward. I feel like you've got someone new in your energy already. But yeah, they keep watching you. Whatever it is that you're putting online, um, if you have your own business, or if you're just posting something to social media, this person is seeing everything. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I've got a lot of swords out here. Um, maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, you're. I feel like somebody, you're getting new love here. New love coming towards the Earth Angel. Yeah, see, you were, you were a hidden gem. They thought that you were destitute, broke, poor, um, always going to be a peasant, never having anything to bring to the table. They've kicked you out of their life, cold, harsh, cut off, right? Um, put you out in the cold. They had no idea 
you were an earth angel. They had no idea you were an earth angel. And now you're out here moving on. Getting new love. I feel like this is somebody that you manifested in. They're coming in. Okay. Um, because the temperance angel to me is somebody who kind of dips her toe in the water thinking, I'm going to try something new. I'm ready for someone new or something new. So I feel like you manifested new love here and you're moving on. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer. Yeah, you're moving on. You're sick and tired of thinking about this, you know. And I feel the tables have turned. Maybe they, you've had sleepless nights over this person in the past. Now it's them. You're, you're healing from this. You want to put it in the past. And now I feel like maybe they've seen you post pictures of a new car. Or they see you, uh, you could have gotten a new car. If it's a new car, it's like a luxury vehicle, Okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're seeing you post pictures of yourself. You're absolutely stunningly beautiful. That's the earth angel. Um, yep. They're watching everything that you put out there and they know they missed out there on their opportunity at greatness. They missed out. See, the divine was trying to give them a blessing and they turned their nose up at it. They were focused maybe on other things, or maybe they thought that there was a better offer out there for them, something better. You know, you weren't flashy enough, collective. And this person was way too materialistic, and um, they, they judged you, okay? Now they know they're missing out. They turned their nose up at you like you were nothing, and you ended up being everything. The Queen of Pentacles energy is wifey. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's extremely financially stable. See, um, you were working on building something here, or you just kept trying, you know? You just kept trying, and you were patient. You persevered. You kept trying to nurture something into a success, and I feel like you've, you've become very successful. Very, uh, you're having this victory. I feel like you're very abundant now. You know? And I don't think they're going to find another you. Um, you could even be moving away. Maybe purchasing a new home. But I feel like you're standing here like, look, all of my hard work, all of my patience, it finally paid off. Yeah, you're in the star energy here. In the public eye, whatever you're doing, people are loving it, okay? And you are stunningly beautiful. Collective, you're beautiful. They can't seem to take their eyes off of you. The feelings that they're having over you and what they missed out on and how, how uh, much of a victory you're, you're having, right? It's all eating them alive. When they see you posting pictures of yourself and how gorgeous you are, um, I'm telling you, there it's it's driving this person crazy, and now they're that. Like I said, the tables have turned. They once thought they were better than you, and now you're out here driving the chariot in some kind of stardom. Like you could actually be a star out here. I could be talking to someone who's on the rise, you know, because this is having a major glow up. Major glow up, a huge victory for you in the public eye. Like, people can see this. They see you as being like an alchemist, making your dreams come true. Yeah, because you have. You went from the Seven of Pentacles, which is the most underestimated person in the deck, to the Empress, which is every queen in the deck. <coughs> You could be a Virgo. You could be an Aquarius. I've got heavy cancer out here. But you could be any sign because the Empress truly is every queen in the deck. No one can compare to the Empress. No one. This person was trying to always find better than you. There is no better than you. You're the Empress. 
There is no better than you. And I feel like now they've got people questioning them. How could you have let go of your destiny? The collectivism on their way to a fortune here. Very abundant. The Empress is extremely abundant. And you, your finances look good. Okay, your home life looks good. Your family, the, the, they love you. Okay, people are out here loving you. You're attracting a lot of attention and a lot of opportunities to you. To you. And there's people that know what they've done to you in their inner circle that are now turning on this person. How could you have done this? You just lost destiny here. You lost a soulmate connection. You lost a blessing you lost an empress and a star. How could you have done this? Are you, are you crazy? That's what they're asking this person. Are you crazy? I feel like they're trying to tell this person that they need to come in and make it right. What action is this person going to take? They're feeling very defensive, but they don't have a defense. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Now, I feel like they've lost their stability, so they... as from their standpoint they don't have a lot to offer you you remember this person was all about money flashiness and materialism okay they could even be broke here this is robbing peter to pay paul you know their life is way off balance people are defending you now behind the scenes collective you may be unaware of that um, and I feel like they know they can't just keep watching you. If they want another chance at the Empress, they have to try to take that chance. They've got to take a leap of faith or, yeah, look, tower moment. Yeah, oh. Oh, when they betrayed you, they betrayed themselves. And now this is coming to an end and you're moving forward. You are not speaking to this person right now. I don't think you've spoken to them since they insulted you, betrayed you, and cut you out cold. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could be a Scorpio um, with a real strong cutoff game. Okay. You could be a Leo as well, maybe a Taurus or an Aries. And they, all they can do is watch you. It's literally driving them crazy. It's driving them crazy. And other people, I feel like, are fighting with this person. That's what this is. There's a whole group of people. Like, saying the best thing that you've ever found that you've ever found in your life is leaving your life right now. What were you thinking? This could be family members, too, um, who are finding out how abundant you are, how much money you have, right? They're, they're seeing your glow up. A lot of people can see it if you're in the public eye or on social media. I've got two being in the public eye cards out here for you. So, yeah, they, they're in a, in a fight right now. People are turning against them, realizing that they did you wrong. They did you dirty, collective. Um, and there's, they, they really don't have a defense. Okay? Because they didn't think you were worth anything. And I feel like you were, you were the hidden gem right under their nose. But they couldn't look past they couldn't look past your peasant dress at the time. You were working hard on something. Yeah, see, they're pressuring this person to come in and apologize. They're calling them a, I was going to say a dumb ace, but they're calling them a complete and utter fool. Okay, yep, they're calling this person out. Yeah, and they're exposed. Uh, everybody around them knows how they did you dirty. This person totally dogged you out. Okay, they're pressuring this person um, to make their apology. You could be dealing with a Pisces of heavy Virgo energy out here, Aries, Leo. Yeah, they are, they are being told it's time to give you your justice and vindication. I, there's a whole group of people. That are, that are sticking up for you right now. I kid you not. You, right now, as we speak, as you sit here and listen to this, 
your name is being vindicated out there. I don't think you're aware of it. You know, the Empress, she's, she's pretty busy, okay? She's got a lot of things to do. You have a lot of things that are under your control, basically, like um, uh, your money, your finances, uh, moving forward, right? Um, all of these opportunities coming to you. You know, um, it's like you're running, you have to run your own kingdom here, okay? So you're, you're busy, you're focused on yourself and, and um, continuing to grow and nurture um, whatever it is that's making you so abundant. Um, yeah, that and posting gorgeous pictures of yourself on the internet. There's plenty of them. You are stunningly beautiful here. You could be a Libra. Yeah, but your name is being vindicated behind the scenes. So there's a whole group of people who are defending you, um, calling this person nuts and crazy. Yeah, and you're not you're not extending your cup of love to any of them. In this spread, you're walking clear off your spread with that cup. Like I feel like you don't want to have anything to do with any of these people. And you were nothing but kind and giving. And this is the sweetheart in the deck. Okay, but you know what your cup is worth, and you're a high value person. So yeah, you're not um, you're not giving your love freely to just everybody anymore. You know, you're not doing that. You're not nurturing people. You're turning your back on a whole entire group and this person from your past. Feel like they want to work on this with you now okay but here you are in this abundant energy focused busy happy being single you're a single person out here um and you realize none of this no one in this group is worthy of that cup you see what i'm saying the tables have turned the tables have turned on this on this masculine now they want to put the work in. They're trying to build something for themselves. Maybe they're working really hard or they could be having a dirty job. Okay, everything has turned for this person. All right, so let's get your advice. I feel like they're not quite ready to come towards you yet because they're feeling pretty humiliated. Okay. This is spirit teaching them humility. They're teaching them a lesson. All right, so what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yeah, people want to tell you the truth, but honestly, I feel like it's everybody else telling this person the truth, that they were nuts to lose you in the first place. Okay? I feel like you've been in isolation. You may even work from home. Whatever craft you started, whatever um, creative project you started, you could do it from home on the Internet. So you spend a lot of time at home. Yeah, but you may even be leaving. You may be um, wanting to move away right now. So you may be being called to make a location change or maybe even make a home purchase. Or these people may show up at your home. I feel like all the masks are coming off. Um, everybody can see things really for what it really is now. I'm also seeing a big pile of money coming towards you and uh, wish fulfillment. And I feel like spirit is smiling down at you. They're so proud of you for everything that you've accomplished because... You know, this takes a lot of effort, a lot of time, and you did it all on your own, and you listened. You listened to the divine, okay? And they led you to all of this transformation and abundance. Oh, my gosh. So now I feel like you're moving on. It's time to go, okay? You're um, crossing through this portal here, right, uh, from the last cycle into a new one, and you're being celebrated Spirit has seen all that you've been through and everything you've done, and they're celebrating you, okay? 
Yep, you're letting these connections come to an end and you're open to receive new gifts, blessings, the things that you have been manifesting because you really are an alchemist. You're out here making your own dreams come true, okay? You're And you're working, you're putting in that work every day. I feel like this is an everyday thing that you're growing, okay? But I feel like it's something that you love to do. And you're attracting new things to you. Money, love, new relationships. Yeah, your land of milk and honey. You know exactly where it is that you're headed. Because you know what? Here's the thing. When all of this happened to you, you had no one. Okay? I feel like a whole community went against you. Now they're going against this person. Um, I feel like you and the divine co-created all of this abundance and all the success together. Just you and them. This bird here, it always um, reminds me of the divine whispering messages in your ear and you follow the instructions to a T. Like you went by the book. You did everything that you were supposed to do. And now you're, you have faith because the divine has been with you through this whole entire thing. Okay, they were the only ones who were there for you, and those are the people, the spirit, they're the only ones you listen to now. Um, and I feel like uh, you know that you're being led. You have a deep knowing that spirit is going to lead you to your land of milk and honey, or you're already there and you know it's here to stay. This is like having the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. And it's all for you because you listened. You listened and you, you took heed to the messages and you allowed spirit to lead you and guide you and keep you going. You know, there were so many times, you guys, in the last few years that I've been like, oh, spirit, I'm so tired. Please give me the, I always pray for energy. Please give me the energy. Um, to deliver the messages the way you see fit. You know what I mean? And they keep you going. I feel like you guys have worked your fingers to the bone for this, but it's finally paying off. And you know that in this new cycle, it's going to be happy. You're going to get emotional fulfillment. You're going to get um, financial fulfillment, success, stardom, love. I'm telling you, collective, because you are the magician, you are the alchemist, and this person didn't see it. They didn't see that. They misjudged you, mishandled you, mistreated you, and now they're missing that opportunity and that chance with you, okay? Anyway, collective, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates like and subscribe to the channel, right, to join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.